Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi my name is Blake. I am a stay at home mother of three. Briley, Brayden, a new little baby Braylin down here. Today we are doing a fall bake with me video. I normally do a fall bake with me video every year. Um, I'll link my other two down below. I normally do this fun thing in October. So this is going to be a loud video because my kiddos are here, they're helping me, so I apologize in advance for that. But like I was saying, I normally do Momtober, which is me vlogging every day for the month of October, and it's like all things fall and just fun. But with the new baby being here and just getting used to all of that, I I just did not have the time this year. So I will probably be doing Vlogmas, which I don't normally do, so I'll probably be doing Vlogmas in December, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but today we are baking. I recently bought a ton of apples, 50 pounds worth of apples from um, someone local around here who she had bought them from a farm. She actually brought like the big huge like crates of them and she didn't need them. So she sold them for super cheap and I got like 50 pounds of them. So we've got a lot of apples to use up which I love because they are so delicious. They are gala apples so they are good for like apple sauces, apple butters apple pies like all the things so I'm losing my setup here this is life with kids you don't get that beautiful aesthetic setup oh well um I've already had to eye the eggs don't worry <laughs> anyways so I've got a lot of apples to use so I reached out to my sister to see if she had any recipes and she actually made a donut recipe they were they are apple cider donuts and they are fried and I was gonna make those but I forgot to get apple cider at the store and I had received you okay? Yeah. Let's not do that again, okay? okay? And I had received those like donut pans um, for a present, like a birthday present or something, years ago, and I've yet to use them. So I'm gonna try the donuts my sister sent me another time, and today we are gonna do apple cinnamon donuts. I just found this recipe on Pinterest. I've never tried it before. Easy to bake, looks easy enough. I've read through the recipe, doesn't seem too hard, uses a few apples. Not as many as I'd like to, so later today we're going to be making some applesauce. Um, kids love applesauce and you can never go wrong with that. I'm probably going to make some apple pie filling, get those all canned up and everything. Not sure if I'll show the canning process on here, but I'll definitely show you my recipes. Um, and I think we're going to also make some apple muffins. I made some the other day. I made sourdough apple muffins and they were, and they were delicious. But today we're going to just make regular apple muffins. So. Hope you guys enjoyed today's fall bake with me video. So I am also, I'm losing it here guys. Oh my goodness. So I'm also doing this collab with a few other YouTube mamas on here. We are all going to be tagged in the same playlist. So once you're done watching my video, make sure you check out that playlist, head over and check out their videos as well. I know they're gonna be doing at least one fall recipe. So maybe you can get some fall inspiration to cook something yummy for yourself. So. Before I lose Baby. everything, all control, <laughs> let's get to baking these donuts. Okay. Also, I'll have all the recipes linked down below so you guys can easily click on them. Okay, okay, okay. Like I was saying, so you can easily look them up and make them for yourself. I'm clearly losing control, so love that for me.
Grating an apple is a little bit harder than I expected it to be. All right, I take that back. I'm getting the hang of it. in right here just to let you guys know that I am struggling with piping these donuts in um, I use the gallon ziploc baggie but for some reason it was like a double fold at the bottom of it if you have a piping bag like a large icing piping bag I would use that it would be so much easier or just make sure your gallon size ziploc baggies aren't like double folded so you don't have like a double cut it was coming out like all these different areas I transferred it into another bag and I had the same issue so if you have a piping bag, use a piping bag. I will use one in the future. It'll be so much easier. I have lost my sous chefs, <laughs> which is fine, because if you've ever baked with kids, it's not easy. Um, in the sense of they just want to eat everything and get into everything. So while those are baking, we're going to start on the little like topping outside, which is just like a cinnamon sugar outside. So we're going to mix that up right now. As long as I can be here with you, everything's alright. Right. 
Do you like it? You like yeah. it? Yeah. All right, verdict on the donuts. They were delicious. They give you all the cozy fall vibes and feels. I will be making them again. I really enjoyed them. Um, I might do a glaze on them just for the kids. The sugary cinnamon outside is kind of a mess. Um, and I'm shocked that I'm saying a glaze will be better, but it might be a little bit better. It gets in their fingers and on their face. It was just, it was messy, but it was so delicious. There's not many more left. Ramsey still gets one when he gets home, thankfully. Little girl obviously didn't get one because she's too little. <laughs> um, but I highly recommend this recipe. Um, again, I will have it linked down below, but now I've got some dishes to do and clean up, so we're going to get that done. I'm probably going to do the next recipe when the kids take a nap because it was a lot, and but with the two of them, I've baked with Briley before, but with Brayden now, she fights, it, like, they argue over who gets to do what, and it just gets to be a lot. So I'm gonna clean up really quickly and then by the next time you guys will see me, we'll be making some apple muffins. All right, before we make the muffins, I decided it was in my best interest to get the applesauce going considering it cooks for five hours in the slow cooker. So I just started off with peeling about 24 apples or so. I added a couple more because some of the apples were smaller in size. So we're just gonna get all of those peeled and then chopped and thrown in the crock pot. And then I'm done, pretty much. <laughs> I did make cinnamon applesauce this time. Again, I'll have the recipe linked down below for you guys so you can see how easy it truly is. The only thing I didn't add is the brown sugar. The last time I made applesauce and added sugar, it was just way too sweet for me. I definitely prefer it without extra added sugar. I just feel like apples are sweet enough on their own. So again, let's hurry up and get the 24 or so apples peeled. Once those are cut, like I said, we just throw them into the crock pot. I do like a rough chop. I don't do diced sizes or massive chunks because the apple, some of the apples are different sizes. So I just kind of, you know, if the piece seems a little too big, I chop it. But since it is slow cooking in the crock pot, it, for the most part, cooks it all the way through. I know it seems like a ton of cinnamon, but it's a ton of apples. <laughs> this is actually a double batch in my crock pot right now. And so you just add a ton of cinnamon, a good amount of water, and the most random ingredient of them all, lemon juice. <laughs> the lemon juice actually brings out the flavors of the applesauce more. So you cook that on high for five hours, and then you just grab an immersion blender. I've also used a regular blender and you just blend it up to the consistency you like. If you want it a little chunky, don't blend it as much. If you want it well blended, blend it longer. <laughs> I do like it pretty smooth because I like to put it in little food packs for the kids, for them to eat. It's just a little bit cleaner way for them to eat it. We are on our third and final recipe of the day. I'm trying not to shout, the kids are asleep. We've got a sleeping beauty here. I'll put her on the screen right here for you guys to see. Um, so I don't want to wake her up because she's going to need to nurse when she wakes up and that will really put a damper on my baking plans. 
Hair is up. It is 2 o'clock now. I'm tired. I'm also a little bummed because these recipes are barely putting a dent in the apples that we have. So I think I'm going to have to do some more applesauce recipes. I've already done two massive batches. I plan to can them. Um, I think I've already mentioned that, but I just don't know what else to make. Um, pie filling I think is going to happen too, but I'm not going to include that. So stay tuned. Watch my videos. You'll see. I was saying, moving on to our third Moving on to our third and final recipe, it's basically the same ingredients as my first recipe, the donuts, um, very similar, just adding some brown sugar and baking it. So basically it's the same ingredients, just baked in muffin pans, and then I'm going to do like a crumbly top on the toppings. Does that, make, that makes sense, right? So let's get going on that. Like I said, she's asleep, they're asleep. Well, Briley does quiet time now, she doesn't nap anymore. Strange, don't even know 
leave you guys hanging so let me grab one and I'll try it for you I'm hoping I've let them cool a little bit but we'll see oh wow these are phenomenal my only complaint is they're a smidge salty which could be because I didn't have unsalted butter like I was supposed to. So I normally cut back on the salt when I do that and I totally forgot. My fault, my fault completely. I will be making these again. Oh wow, they're so apple -y in a good way. Like There you have it you guys. There's my 2022 fall bake with me recipes that I wanted to share with you guys. I thought I copied last year's because I did cinnamon last year or the year before, I don't know. Which is typically what I use because I'm not the biggest pumpkin fan. I do like some things. Maybe next year I'll d do pumpkin for once. Um, but this year we decided to do apples. I still have, don't mind my dishes because you know, baking life. I still have a ton, a ton of apples left. So if you guys have any apple recipes, please leave them in the comments down below. I love trying new recipes. That's why we decided to try some new recipes today, except I've made the applesauce before. So <laughs> all that's left now to do is can up the applesauce and probably make some more because I have so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other YouTubers in this collab who are doing a fall recipe as well. You get some motivation, some cozy vibes, and all the things. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit, hit the thumbs up button because it really supports my channel. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss many videos to come. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Bye guys. Hit that like button. Right Hit the there. subscribe button right there. Yeah. Yeah. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. That was so sweet, Riley. Longing for you, pick up the phone, catching the